The automotive world continues to evolve and rules concerning emissions and fuel economy are driving manufacturers to develop new or revise existing technologies to improve fuel economy and improve engine performance. One of the key developments of those adaptations has been the increased use of turbochargers. Now, many people remember that turbochargers have been around a while, though in the past, the technology was unreliable at best, typically because of overheating. Fast forward to the present day. Manufacturers have learned how to cool them and make them more reliable and rely on turbocharging more often to meet these strict fuel and emissions regulations. Turbo use has shot up from 5% of vehicles in 2010 to close to 50% in 2024, and that number is only going to keep growing. A turbocharger makes an engine more powerful by using the exhaust gases to spin a turbine. This turbine powers a compressor that then pushes more air into the engine, allowing it to burn more fuel and create more power. It's like giving the engine an extra boost without making it bigger. One of the unsung heroes of turbochargers are the oil lines. Every turbo has two, an oil feed line that supplies oil to cool the turbo and an oil drain line that takes the hot oil back to the engine. Turbo oil lines can come in a couple of designs. Some are all metal, others are a mix of metal and a hose. Each style of hose is specific to each vehicle, so you have to make sure you use the right one in case of failure. These lines do get hot, sometimes up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and can fail, so there's a good chance they'll need to be replaced when the turbo fails, or if they become damaged or worn. Modern turbos also have separate coolant lines that run coolant through the turbocharger to keep them cool after the driver shuts off the engine. Even though the engine's off, changes in temperature cause coolant to naturally circulate through the turbocharger. Just like oil lines, coolant lines are specific to each vehicle. They're usually metal or a mix of metal and hose, with fittings that make installation easier. Turbo oil and coolant lines can fail for various reasons. The extreme temperatures can cause the oil circulating through the turbo oil feed lines to coke or develop unwanted carbon deposits. Over time, coked oil builds up, restricting oil flow, which leads quickly to the failure of the turbocharger. The lines can deteriorate, becoming worn, corroded, or clogged over time, and that can lead to leaks. The rubber portions of the line can tear, also leading to a leak. Seals and gaskets can deteriorate over time, resulting in a poor seal. Either condition can result in loss of oil and coolant. Not only does the loss of oil and coolant impact the turbo, it can also impact the vehicle's cooling and engine oiling systems. These lines are subject to mechanical stress from the engine, turbo, road vibrations, as well as thermal expansion and contraction. Mechanical stress can cause the materials to fatigue over time. Welds and brazing, for example, can crack or break as these parts age. To make modern turbo service easier and more effective, today's suppliers have created complete turbocharger oil and coolant line kits that include all of the parts required for a full system repair. These kits include the appropriate turbocharger oil and coolant lines, as well as the necessary hardware for installation. Because all parts in the turbocharger system wear together, it's important to replace all components at the same time. For more information about coolant and oil lines for modern turbochargers, visit gates.com. Thanks for watching.